Hmm, so there's a crime going on. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be finishing up part 3 of Simulacra. The last episode was pretty hectic, not going to lie. There was so much stuff going on. I think it it went from Simulacra to this whole different app. I think it was Iris OS. I kept saying IRS. I don't know why, but I was saying IRS, but it's really Iris OS. I think it's an app her and the company is working on, on their phones. So I don't know why it did that, because the phone reset again. And, but it restored it back to this. So, and we had a whole bunch of messages and apps, and you know, apps being re-uploaded. And there's old text messages from Taylor, Greg, Ashley. And I think I just got a notification from Annie, Anna, saying that she is going to have a good day today. Which is weird, because like I said, she's still missing. You don't know where she's at. So we're going to figure out what's going to happen now. If you haven't seen part one and part two, I'll leave that up there somewhere. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, so here we go. We got all these apps loaded up, and we got a whole bunch of messages from everybody. So I don't even know where to start, but <laughs> well, I think we're making some progress, hopefully. So let's figure out what these messages are from. Here we go from Elizabeth, the Rainforest, Shipment, Merv. I think I already read all this. Okay. So this is from Merv. He he works at the company she works at, Faraday Safety. So yeah, I think he's a co-worker. So this is him typing to Anna. Hey Anna, looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company's gift swap. I know the gifts are meant to be a secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm breaking down tradition, tradition and it will get you something that you truly deserve. And I think I already... Okay... Uh, damn. <laughs> I forgot what, what the answer was. Alright, I got it. You somehow managed to look so hot in office wear, so why not I get you a smashing office dress? Tell me your body size and I will pick the perfect dress for you. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. A sheath dress would be perfect, with a tighter and firmer bust to pair with those long legs. You will look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting, but if you have assets, you have to show it. Merv the perv, oh my god, this, this is probably why she reached out to HR. I think this is Elizabeth the HR, yeah, HR manager, oh, okay. So this is Elizabeth sending something to Anna. Anna, hey, I got your application, but the boss is sitting on it for now. It's regarding the thing you brought up. Text me when you're in the office and I will explain. Best regards. Okay, this is Anna to Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth, I am following up on the application of my two-week study leave. I have no, I have not heard from you since. I totally understand if it's not approved. I just need to know so I can prepare. Best regards, Anna. I get to talk about her shipment. Hello, Anna. The consumer society myths and structures have been shipped. The singular objects of architecture has been shipped. If you wish to keep track of your orders, please log into your forest account. Okay, so there's a forest account that we have probably have to sign into. And this is Dice Roll Insurance when your life is worth money by Raw Raw Dyson, that's how you say it. It's a lot to read. Okay, there's chats. We got a whole over ninety nine. Oh my gosh. Let's see what Ashley want. Okay, this is August second, twenty seventeen. He's been calling me for a few days. I'm not being, I haven't been responding. Should I come over? I don't know. I keep going back and forth between being angry at him and feeling guilty about being so upset. Hugs. Toby is the only lover I need. First woman, first woman desperate enough to upright marry their cat. Time to enter the fringes of society, Ashley. Time to be a cat wife. Do you, Anna, take Tobias the cat as your lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Yes, I do! Whoa, okay. Sounds terrible. Leave my shit jokes alone. Okay, so I'm gonna call you later, okay? Yeah, okay. Part. So this is August 3rd, the next day. 
Hey, how you feeling, pretty girl? Bags of rocks. Oh my gosh. I gotta get used to that. <laughs> Bags of these bricks made out of poop, they dry out. I'm developing desert communities. They use them to build amazing houses with decent insulation and stabilize a small rural economic econ economy. What did I say? And the nonprofit takes a glammy picture of the who of the whoever people in the CEO. And you feel weird because you're like, is this picture boasting about helping people? Or is it promoting the CEO in their self-interest somehow? And in the background of the pic, there are used, unused extra poop bricks, which will be which will get rained on. We turn to a former but lesser poop form and eventually dry out in the sun, leaving nothing but a stain. And I am that stain. Is she reading poetry or something? What's all that? Okay, she's just clapping, okay? I've never been, I've been reading a lot. Call me if you need to, okay? This is a, the next day. Hey there, handsome. Who, me? How you doing? About the same. Let's hang up tomorrow. I don't know. I'm pretty content in my angry, lonesome hole. Get a good book ryth rhythm going, you know? Ballard? What? Bald, what? Is way ahead of his time. Who am I to trust now when I turn on the TV? Why won't you hang out with me tomorrow? Hang out with me. I'm higher than your cultural commentary. Eh? Be my date. I'll be a good date. We'll get pretty and we'll go out of town. Eh? Come on, are you alright? What's going on to you? What's gotten into you? Hello? Hey, um, God. I just read my text. I am so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night and mm -mm. I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'm going back to sleep, so I'll catch you soon, all right? Hmm, okay, so apparently she was drunk testing, texting Anna. Tuh. Hey, this is from Greg. July 19th, 2017. Hey, since it was the calf birthday yesterday, when is your birthday again? If I can close the next client, you're in for a treat. You keep calling it the cat. It has a name, you know. You're avoiding the question. I know the, I know the month. Oh, hold on. You get three guesses, and if you screw all them up, you'll let me drive your car. No. Yes. I could just ask Ashley. No cheating. Texting her. No. I win. I will get you for this. You will regret this day. Count your friends and fort your pillows. For you will need every comfort in these years ahead. Yes, I do not pity you at all. Ha ha. July 27th. Hey. Are we boring? What do you mean? When we were out last night, it was like everyone was 20-something and they had kind of, had some kind of futuristic job. A founder of a startup game, pro programmer, neuroscience researcher. You work at a surveillance company. I know. Not what I mean. Like, we just mainly go out, chill, plus Toby. You're a salesman and I work, st and I work stupid big data bullshit. Are we basic? Are we norm core? White bread? I'm a salesman, so no question there. Dodging the question. 75% chance that any given time we are the most boring couple in the room. But who cares? Are you bored of me? What? Fuck no. Where'd that come from? It's been bothering me. Last night you didn't really want to dance. And I know you don't like dancing like I do anyway. But like you seem kind of upset about it. Haha, <laughs> no. I was just kind of tired. Yeah? Yes. Can we hang out again tonight? I think maybe work stuff is getting to me. Can't. Why work? I guess maybe I'll hang out with Ashley. Okay. July 30th, 2017. You tell me, right? Tell what? If you're hiding something. I told you your present only comes on your birthday. It's not that. You are acting weird. You always seem a weirdo. Weirder than usual. An example would help. I don't know. Just a gut feeling. You're only thinking. You're overthinking things. Promise me. Promise me that everything's fine. What's gotten into you? Just do it, please. Okay, I promise everything is fine. I love you. August 1st. Hey, you're mad. I can tell. You just don't storm out of a house without saying anything. 
Tell me. Tell what? I want you to tell me why you do think I'm why you think I'm mad. Tell what? Oh boy. What'd that say? Ferris and K oh, I think it's that Yolanda chick that Ashley was talking about. Okay, I got it. Ferris and King. Who the hell is Yolanda? Okay, I got it that time. You looked through my phone? I knew something was up. You could have effing told me. How long were you going to wait? F, I made a mistake. I can explain. Please do. She was the cleaner I need for the last month's target. We met a few times after work. She's pres persistent. I made a mistake. I own that. But everything after that was not me. Bullshit. Anna. Image cr Is that a pregnancy test? You cheat on me and almost got her pregnant. How you almost get someone pregnant? You cheated on me and almost got her pregnant. This is unreal. I told you I'm not allowed to just get rid of clients. You're not allowed to fuck clients. Oh, it's like she said that at work. I heard you at that background. She was the last close I needed. I know it's hard to believe. I don't effing care. Anna, leave me the F alone, Greg. Anna, let me fix this. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this is the jabber I was talking about that she had got a notification from. Today is going to be an interesting day, I can feel it. And we read the text messages, the replies on me. And there's, there's Taylor, again. Uh, let, him, let him finish. Okay, Jackie C, Ronnie, Anna. Jackie C, haven't seen you in a while, where you been? Ronnie, yeah, you've been gone. Yeah, where you been? It's like you to miss, it's not like you to miss Jim. And uh, I'm, I am fine, just got caught up at work. That's all. Going to take a short break. Don't worry about me. Oh, and for some odd reason, you like your own stuff. <laughs> Let's see what Taylor wants. Oh, yeah, we gotta read Taylor's text messages, too. Hey, stranger, anything? Anna just posted something on Jabber. Looks like she's chilling at home. I guess she's, I guess she's alright. Far from it, something is off. I wish that was true. Wait, what I picked last time? You know, maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just want to be left alone. Let's get practical, Taylor. It's okay if you don't get it. I'm not taking this seriously enough. So what So what happened, actually? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He did not. He did, but no sign of her. He heard, strange, heard a strange noise, but not Anna. Okay, Anna. What was that? Anna would have called her phone by now if she's okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't that sound a bit strange to you? A comb razor? A comb? What? Right. So let's say, hypothetically, there is a possibility that Greg somehow did something to Anna. 
and he's hiding it from you. Now, why would he do that? Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went, screw it, and chucked the phone away. Mm -mm. Go on. Why would he do that? Why would you say that? I got my reasons, but think about it. What kind of person Greg is? The phone that it was almost deleted when he checked the laptop. He mentioned he got blocked from the apartment. You can't tell them all the things. Cause didn't Greg say to be careful with telling people stuff? Anna's a pretty sweet gal. Why would she date someone like him? Being verbally abus abusive is not far from being physical. The phone data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. He mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. Oh, I don't want to be telling all this business, but oh, this is troubling. It's trying to obstruct justice. I think he's hiding something big in that phone. Otherwise, why would he want to leak his phone, the phone data? I think it was an accident. I don't think he did it. I think he did it. I don't think he did it. Say every guilty person ever. He mentioned that he got blocked from his apartment, from her apartment. Aha! If they are indeed lovebirds, at most he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she's keeping from keep. Maybe she's keeping him away. Yeah. Oh my God! Talk. Okay. All I'm saying is I think there is more to Greg that he is leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else? What else he told you? You actually met Anna. Anna met someone on Spark. Right. There's a possibility that a hot girl like Anna would get matched more than once. Now you're right. It could be you. Hmm? If I met her, our job would be done. Her job? And I wouldn't be talking to you right now. Don't you believe me? No. Well, you are not making this easy. It's way easier to prove that you met someone than you haven't met someone. You can trust me. Scout's honor. I think before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. Some new data just restored. I got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. Like a backup? Great. He's hiding something. I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he will slip up and tell you something we don't know. What was that? Okay. Okay, we already read all that. Greg, I need to ask you something. There's something on my mind. What? Let's talk about Anna's place. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. Let's talk about your attitude. What that say? Never mind, it's nothing. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. Let's talk about your attitude. Hmm. So you're a shrink now? What is it to talk about us? Are you both two together? Why did she block you from your from her apartment? We had a fight, okay? Why would I know she blocked me? How would I know she blocked me? I just need to check if she's at home. Sounds like a troubled relationship. It's still breaking and entering. Couples fight all the time. Nothing a good talk can't solve. Something still doesn't add up. Something doesn't add up. We are dating. Why are you bringing this up? I think she broke up with you. Explain her spark meeting then. You got Alona pregnant, didn't you? No, no. This is a private matter. If it doesn't tell you where Anna is, 
And don't effing read it. Sounds scandalous. You screwed up screwed up real bad. None of my business then. I'm not saying another word about it. Let's talk about Anna's place. Let's talk about your attitude. Let's talk about Anna's place. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? Or are you trying to delete evidence? Hmm. Are you trying to delete evidence? Eh. I told you I didn't do anything. Are you calling me a liar? If I wanted the phone erased, why the hell do I back up the phone for you? To gain my trust because you screwed up? That's true. Hmm. I hope you're done wasting my time. Nope, no we're not, we're not done. What about my attitude? Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Oh, I think that might have been Greg that they saw. I have no time to deal with your feelings right now. You are verbally abusive. Sometimes you come off as rude. You can be a little nicer sometimes. I am really stressed out over here, okay? I'm not sure coding anything for you. Just deal with it. You didn't hit her, did you? Maybe she's running from an abuser. Hmm. Maybe she's running from an abuser. Hmm. You didn't hear her, did you? Hey. Too far, man. I didn't lay my hand on her. I will never physically harm Anna, ever. In her discussion. If you say so. Watch the sarcasm. What's all these accusations? Make your point. Maybe you're someone, maybe you're somehow involved. You're not completely honest with me. Nothing, just asking. Hmm. If that's the case, then all I am going to tell you, stop making this about, stop making this about be, me and make this about Anna. You have nothing on me. So if you want to start pointing fingers, maybe you should have, maybe make sure you have proof. Why are you so defensive? Okay, I will. Calm down. I mean, I am accusing him of something. Why are you so intrusive? I don't have time for this. I am not going to entertain anyone questioning about my life. You have nothing on me. I think... Okay, so, so we saw those two. Those two, those rest are still... From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you. Blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping! So she's been rejected? Oh my god. What if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? And he can do it, looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Then why would he, you know what? I hope it's positive. Oh, I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, you always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. Oh. 
everyone's happy. Okay, so this is after she found out Yolanda's pregnant. This was August 1st. These were all in July. Well, she got rejected from the university or something? Let's see what he... Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? Well, maybe kill is a strong word. But what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Huh. Hmm. Rick almost got someone pregnant and I left him because he cheated. Ha! Caught red-handed. Or red-fingered because it's in text. Okay, that sounded weird now that I typed it out. Who's your lucky girl? <laughs> Yolanda. Exact, exotic name. Yeah, that sounds like motive to me. Messy breakup fight, things got a little violent, who knows? I think we could call her and ask her if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion, get it straight from the source. Great idea, too scandalous for my taste. Great idea. That's the spirit. Now go get her, tiger. Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda. Find the truth. Oh, Lord. Contact your London about Greg's behavior. Now let's read show text messages. August 8th, Titanic. What? It's my icebreaker. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. People died though. Yeah, I need to work on that. So, animal person, eh? Dog? Cat. Only one, I hope. One is a handful already. And I'm not crazy about- I'm not a crazy cat lady age yet. So your profile says you are serenade upon request? Yep. You sing? Occasionally. Prove it. Okay, so he was singing Drake's song, Just Hold On, We're Going Home. And I had to take it out because I don't know if it's copyrighted. But he was singing it. He's pretty He's pretty good, actually, in my opinion. Oh, wow, that's not bad. So is it true that the shower gives better acoustics? Yes, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if, if I sing there. Interesting. What is that? Otherwise, it'll be a soap opera. Haha. <laughs> okay, you got me on that one. Do I get something in return? Your number, maybe? I don't think about it. Okay, so he serenaded her. At least he was a gentleman about it. Who are these people? Check my reviews. Do I just hit like or not? Hope your standards are lower than mine. Good things come in small packages. Do I part all of them? You and Mark swipe right on each other. Say something nice to him. Hey, wait, why am I doing this? Hey, cool name. Where did you get it? It was a birthday present. My parents, I hated my previous name. Eh. Changed it? Can't be that bad. What was it before? We'll just say... What's that? <laughs> Thank God you changed it then. You're funny. So what you up to? Nothing much, just chilling. Playing Twister. You will not believe me if I told you. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Try me. I know who you think I am. I'm trying to find a missing person. Why am I telling him all this? What? Wait. Is this a prank? Am I on a live stream or something? Don't you have anything better to do? That's it. I'm done. Oh! <laughs> okay. So let's find Yolanda. Okay, so I think I found the Ferris and Kane website that apparently Yolanda works at. I remember I actually said something about that because she had left the audio recording of the message. So I think I found the website on this app right here called Surfer. So here it is. I found it. I think it said to call her and find her. 
Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 to... Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4 for shoes and footwear. Press 5 for gowns. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please... If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, please press the four-digit extension number. If you wish to be assigned to a random shopper, please press 1111. Is it 04? Opa? Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is... Yolanda. Okay. Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice day. Okay. Okay, here she is. Thanks for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda and I will be your shopper today. Help me assist you. I'm not here for shoes. I need your help for other matters. I would like to know your best selection. I'm afraid we don't do returns. You can contact HQ for that matter. I want to talk to you about Greg. I'm from the police department. Hmm. Greg? Summers? Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? He's caught up in some bad shit. What can you tell me about him so we both agree on something? You tell me about him. He's a first class liar and even higher class douchebag. Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I am not getting involved with him again. I think he killed Anna. He kidnapped Anna. He just broke into Anna's apartment. He's looking for Anna. Hmm. He's looking for Anna. Why do you need me for that? I think he's fully capable of finding that perfect little bitch. Oh! She has gone missing and no one has heard from her. She's gone missing. As in, missing? We need to call the cops kind of missing? Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He's too chicken shit to be a criminal. So you two dated? He has two girlfriends. Hmm. Me, please. More like a side girl booty call. <laughs> he cheated. It's new to me. Oh yeah. I am all for some class casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time—that's a low blow. When she found out about me, all hair broke loose, and I ended up being the other girl. He told me it wasn't a big deal. Did it get violent? How did it end? When it comes down to making a choice, of course he went for Anna. And I got the half-ass voicemail breakup. Hey, Yolanda. I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other. Like... Immediately. It's not just that it's, you know, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, Ooh. and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, eh? Huh? No hard feelings. Wow. It all makes sense now. I see him in a new light. So he's two timing bastard. So he is. At the end of the day, he still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. Not everyone thinks I'm a bad person. It's not your fault. You should have seen it coming. He fooled us all. Uh, if she knew about Anna, then 
and she still continued to talk to Greg. I wouldn't say necessarily say it's her fault. She'd have seen it coming. He fooled us all. She'd have seen it coming. If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. Oh. I hope that was helpful. I gotta get back to work now. Memo, Greg cheated on Anna with Yolanda. I mean, I could have figured that out. Stephanie. Oh, another girl? Did I get my settings wrong? Maybe. You swipe right, didn't you? They type fast? Yeah, but I wasn't really looking who I was swiping, lol. Since we're here, tell me something. What is it like, Spark? It takes getting used to. It seems it's pretty harmless fun. Everyone here sucks. Is, is it though? Are we meeting literal strangers online? Aren't you scared? Just pick public places, do some background checks first, have friends follow you, have a friend follow you. Kind of sucks the fun out of dating, isn't it? LOL. Gosh, what am I doing roaring so much? I have this fear that the person I am talking to is not who they say they are. It's a possibility. That's why you meet them. Nobody will lie about who they are. Why am I talking to you again? Feels like I am walking in a trap or something. How do people do this? You won't know it till you tried it. It's just your anxiety talking. I will stop now while I'm ahead. You think so? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? I don't know. We got it. Call from a text from Greg. What's your deal? Seriously, what's in your head? Where your head at? You only just called me. There's a reasonable explanation. I need to clear something up. I just want to know the full story. I want to get both sides of the story. No. I don't care about your excuses. You have crossed the line. She is pissed and confused. And you brought her into this mess. I'm really sorry. I had to be sure it wasn't my idea. I had to be sure. My personal affairs has nothing to do with you. whoop de doo I cheated on Anna. Now that it's out in the open, would you stop digging into my life and get back to get back on track? Why only because you act so nicely? Just stop and use your head for just one second. Have you ever considered that what's his face? What's his face from Spark is just digging you around? Come on, what do you really know about him? He makes a lot of lewd jokes. He did sidetrack the investigation. So pointing a finger at me was his idea all along, and you said that I'm the one with things to hide? He makes a lot of lewd jokes. What kind of nutcase will joke about someone getting missing? It's like he lacks any kind of empathy. I wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of criminal record. He's just eccentric, a nice guy if you can overlook those things. You disagree? I am not the one I'm not the only one who thinks he's dangerous. Look what I found. Spark related crimes soar as increasing numbers of felons use dating apps to target victims. Uh oh. Word well, I mean world in tech. C B B dot web. Hmm. The figure the figure comes after several arrests were made linking the crimes they've committed to popular dating apps. The way we meet potential partners in casual dating, there has been a huge change as a result of the internet, social media, and mobile phone apps. Hmm, so there's a crime going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I am done. I am done. Oh my God. I did not need to see that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end it right here. That was way too much to handle and a lot of reading. So uh, sorry for my reading. If I messed up a lot of words, I'm sorry. <laughs> but oh my gosh, that is 
That's crazy. That's scary. It scared the hell out of me. I'm starting to sweat now. Okay, so we got a battle going on between me, Greg, and Taylor. Apparently, Taylor and Greg are both accusing each other of certain things over here. Um, Greg over here pulling out facts about this dating app spark that's going around luring women, I guess, in this dating app. And, oof. And then he's over here in... in uh, Taylor over here accusing Greg of actually having to do so something to do with um, Anna's disappearance. So I don't know who to believe, Greg or Taylor. And it also we also reached out to uh, Yolanda. We got a little bit of information. I don't know if I'm making progress with this game or not. I don't know. I really hope I am. I have a I have a feeling I'm probably gonna get a bad ending. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just get that feeling, you know. So <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.